So today's video is going to be an app pick. I was looking over my playlists last night and I noticed that I haven't actually done nowhere near as many app picks as I thought I had. So I'm going to be doing a few more of those in the weeks to come, just demonstrating some uh, software, mostly free and open source software for you guys that uh, might not necessarily have, have come up on your radar. Some um, some app picks, if you will. And as you can see here, this is my NeoCities website. You can get to it by going to chrisware.neocities.com org forward slash links dot html it's in the description of just about every video that i've got here um, and it's my uh, links and apps recommendation page and it's just a very simple text html file that outlines a few games um, and i think everything here is really uh, free and open source the only exception is uh, closed source web apps but i've put a few there um, mostly, you know, oh, like Blog Trotter, that's quite useful there because it puts RSS feeds into, you know, it can email you RSS updates. And there's Mail for Spam and Temp Mail, which are fake email address utilities if you want to sign up to a a website without using your real email address. I find them very, very useful for keeping your information safe-ish online. Obviously, there's no such thing as 100% security, but we can make uh, responsible data decisions. Anyway. Before I digress too far, today we are going to be taking a look at Peskel. Now, Peskel is, as you might have already managed to assess, a pixel art icon uh, GIF utility, GIF creation utility. So what you can do is you can have a, um, uh, you get given a bit of a canvas here, and uh, there's quite a bit of, um, you know, or you can enable the grid, you can disable the grid. So as you can see, I've been working on a nice little Bob Ross style painting there. Uh, not quite as good, obviously. So you've got things like tile mode and uh, and setups and all this kind of stuff, I think. Yeah, uh, you can resize it, you can save it. And it gives you a few options to save. If I go to save, you can save it as, you can save it off offline as a dot .piscal. You can save it in your browser and you can save it online with things like Google Docs. Google Drives, I think. Google Drive? Yeah, Google Drive. And I think there might be some other ways of saving it. But, you know, it's, it's all offline access uh, anyway. Um, now, this, uh, you go to uh, piscalapp.com to go to it. And, of course, I will put a link to that down in the description. Um, uh, but it has your sort of, it has, for a start, it has your standard offerings of things like uh, shape selectors. Uh, it has, uh, you got your eraser tool there. So if you wanted to uh, just put a big hole in it, uh, you can then... Uh, I don't know, you can do a big, um, draw a big blue mustache on it. God, I'm really wrecking this painting. Uh, you got the um, paint all pixels of the same color. Oh, that's pretty good. So you can do that there, um, like so. And that's uh, that's like your magic fill. Uh, and then you've got the basic paint bucket fill. Uh, we can use that. So you don't need me to go through all the basic functions of what is effectively uh, something very similar to like MS Paint or um, is it Paint dot me or Paint dot my or you know the the sort of the Linux basic paint uh, utility. It's mostly designed, of course, as you can see here, for pixel art and animated GIFs. Uh, you've got some uh, FPS uh, tools there. It even gives you um, Onion mode, which is quite a useful tool for animation. And you can and, and it's quite good for sprites as well. So if you're making a game that's you know a pixel arty game, you can actually make sprites that link you know that use uh, animated GIF animations and things like that. So I probably haven't covered too many of the tools that uh, Piscal has available for us today, but they're quite you know it's quite an easy program to use and uh, and it's you know it's worth discovering uh, for yourselves. You can find it at piscalapp.com. Of course, I will put a link to it down in the description. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice little um, online app that is uh, free and open source. Um, has a GitHub page and, and all of that as well, and uh, yeah, I find it quite I find it quite fun just to just to play around and, and draw some shapes or what have you. I don't actually have a, uh, a productive use for it myself, but if pixel art is your thing, you might want to give this a little bit of a look. So it's uh, yeah, piscalapp.com. Um, I think that's about it for this video today. If you guys have any app picks that you would like to um, uh, see featured on this channel uh, that you think are uh, particularly good, uh, either let me know via email or across on Mastodon, Chrisware at linuxrocks.online. Links will be in the description. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I await your suggestions. So that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Chrisware and you've been awesome. Take care now.